Hi Taurus, for the 12th to the 18th and since the 9th we are also in Mercury retrograde. Also I'm late, I'm sorry, but I've been really emotional um, as the Queen of England has passed away as we all know and for those that are a fan of the Queen my condolences and I hope um, you'll be all right. Also, I pass on my condolences to the family and the close people next to her. I'm watching her coffin travelling from um, Belmoral to Edinburgh. So we might be joined in that as well today. I'm using the quantum tarot and you come in with the world. You are feeling on top of the world and talking about being on top of the world. I know we might not feel like it at the moment for some of us, but others are, um, yes, you are in balance. We are strong enough to continue and all do our best and our bit. Also, we've got the three fates here and the fates, they uh, sometimes appear on the world card and sometimes they don't. They sometimes it is on the wheel of fortune. But this reminds me in this card, the Holy Trinity. And this person here is supposed to be the lady, but it also reminds me of Jesus. And remembering that spirit is close with us, the Holy Father, the Son, and no, sorry, um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But this can also represent trying to keep balance between heart, mind, and body. And I think you are trying to keep the balance, perhaps with emotions and your thoughts and your feelings. Please do try to take care of yourself. Remember, love yourself first, then you can love another. Take care of yourself, then you can take care of another. Also, the world card means that there is an end of a phase and a new beginning and it could mean globally well at least in England Scotland Ireland and Wales it is it is an end of an era so that phase and um, it's already coming true you could be going on holiday you could be moving home you could be going on to the next level in romance or in career also you uh, could be um, starting something new like a business um, or you could be going on to the next level in business getting more clients the world is definitely also that you could be starting a web shop or you could be meeting people on the web if you are looking for a new partner then please meet on an in a neutral or on a mutual ground don't let a stranger into your house be careful nowadays people are really weird just watch the television and you see it. Um, uh, there is a program on BBC, The Shame and the Blame, I, I believe. So yes, those are programs that I watch, uh, what's happening around the world, and so that I do gather knowledge on how uh, to help others. Perhaps you might be looking uh, at TV as well, like this week um, when we get the Ace of Swords or the Knight of Swords, I usually say news through cyber, email, text message and telephone call. But I forgot the television, so I've learned something new as well this week. So you could be, re be dealing with things on the web as the world is part of the cosmos. Also, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You could be expanding your home, you could be expanding the family. This can be with a baby, this can be with um, a pet, this can also be with a project. Like I said, expanding the home. So you might be modernizing, you could be making it bigger, you could be building a, a conservatory or another room or another wing in some cases. 
and family is very important so perhaps family might be moving in and living with you we've also got the magician confirming the world there is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning and the magician is, is a new beginning don't create illusions then you won't have any disillusions also be clear in communication and keep things transparent then you won't be saddened or have any illusions remember you hold the key to your life's path and your life's force so open the door to love use that key you might be wanting to start something new so open the door to newness and close the door to negativity let the negativity pass learn from it so that you don't fall into the same traps and move on with the magician you have two zodiac signs that represent it and that's aries and gemini with the world you have taurus you have leo scorpio or aquarius that's the overall energy for you making plans for the future again you've got the world in, in your hands making plans something could be electrifying drawing your attention something beautiful is going to happen you could be partnering up in business or you could be getting married we've also got the page of wands representing Sagittarius mainly but don't forget Aries or Leo we've already got Aries and Leo in the world and Sagittarius as the page so it's a very passionate fiery energy this week for you with these three um, zodiac signs here I believe magic is in the air new passion this can be with a person this can be with a new hobby so this good news could be with regards to a hobby or a new person um, something that's in the baby shoes you could be starting a fully fledged relationship as the world card means getting engaged or getting married this news can also be about work because the ones also stand for action besides passion but if you want to make it into a long-term relationship then set your boundaries and go on as you start as you mean to when you start set your boundaries and carry on as you mean to carry on also know their boundaries and um, then everything should be fine we've also got the knight of swords that's gemini libra or aquarius again and news coming through cyber like i said can be through email text message or telephone call or through the other media channels or tv we've also got the seven of pentacles so it could be with regards to an investment that you've done whether it's with the heart or with material remember seven is good luck and what you sow you shall reap but it will take time to come to fruition so if something is still in the baby shoes carry on be persistent slow down and build on proper foundations that so that you don't get that tower moment we also have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles taurus virgo and capricorn something is slow and steady but for long term so this passionate relationship can turn into a long-term relationship ship or it can be a job or this investment can be for something long term if you've applied for a loan to buy a house then you will be receiving the news you've also got the six of pentacles you might be getting a gift the six of pentacles could be from somebody more fortunate than you if you're less fortunate or if you're you are the one that's more fortunate you could be giving to the less fortunate this could be a helping hand a listening ear or a gift this could also be money also if you've lent money to somebody it could be returned to you at the end of the week you are going up from six to seven mm, that is a good sign we also have the seven of swords 
so be careful if somebody's coming back um, giving you the money be careful that it is the right amount plus interest if you um, haven't the, the the seven of swords means deceit so if this hasn't happened yet be careful be alert forewarned is forearmed this could be that somebody is talking behind your back and being deceitful in other words when they speak to you face to face or on the telephone they might not be telling you the truth there is a delay uh, also because uh, there isn't a delay because we've got the hanged man upside down the hanged man in the right way up is this way now you can see the four by his legs and it's um, in the wrong way around it's upside down so definitely there aren't any more delays so make sure and be alert and get the right perspective as well um, and uh, so that you are in control you haven't got time because if it is lying, lying the right way up then you have time to pause as he hung himself in this way through his choice as he wanted to meditate and contemplate in this fashion to see what it looks like he, the story goes that he was bored and that's the way he wanted to be um, to meditate and to see what it was like so there is no time for meditation or introspection so make sure that if you know what you want that you've got all the information so that you make the right decisions and that magic can happen have the right perspective and be ready for action but also be ready for um, untruths or deceit okay don't let anybody pull the wall over your eyes that said um, you've got a lot of news coming in because we've got the page and the two nights so definitely news is coming in make sure and double check that the news is correct because there could be deceit in the air also um, somebody might have left spontaneously and didn't tell you that they were going this can be a business partner and i'm hearing somebody say they might have tipped their fingers in the till so in other words they might have taken money out of the bank account whether it's private or business be careful this could also be somebody that has lent you money and has deceived deceived you um, but they could be coming back okay make sure there is that everything is above water uh, for the romance card we have flirt if this is with regards to uh, romance the seven of swords be careful a passion the current passion is here it's still in the baby shoes so don't let them pull the wool over your your eyes they're only flirting with you they're not telling you the truth extend your light-hearted energy to others yes but don't be taken for granted learn from the past okay Taurus I know you're very susceptible and you're very in anybody can influence you because you've got a soft heart so be careful forewarned is forearmed now from the audacious action angels we have hot lips <laughs> that says it all say what you mean and do what you say okay that's use your lips protect yourself okay also somebody wants to kiss you that's fine flirting um, but set your boundaries definitely let them know where what you want and where they stand don't magic and fun is fine but don't get your don't get too involved um, if uh, you don't want to be hurt that's what I'm trying to say now um, hot lips let's see hot lips I'm reading uh, this week from the book as well and those hot lips have some news blips wahoo 
Make a joyful noise unto the universe. Celebration and gratitude are the name of the game today. Thou shall have fun. Sing, shout, <coughs> laugh out loud. Let those luscious lips of yours smile. It's a heavenly expression of the good life and affirmation of what your body is telling you. Yes, you do embody spirit. In alcoholic or Alcoholics Anonymous, they call that an attitude of gratitude. Go on, hot lips, express all that you enjoy and have fun. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's reading. Uh, I hope it resonates somewhere, if not all. Take from it what you like and see whether um, I've given you any tips or clues as to what energy is around you in the coming days. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. Please do that and keep on doing it um, so to support the channel. Thank you. I hope to see you in the live. If not, I'll see you in the next video.